from Baltimore, welcome inside Oriole Park at Camden Yards. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Baltimore Orioles. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. So the New York Yankees have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said, but every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today, but there's always a little extra motivation when you have an opportunity to sweep a series. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to roll here, and today's starter, Cole Irvin. Well, he tried to make it through the fifth inning last time out, but the pitch count just got too high. He ended up taking the loss. That's one of those you just have to shake it off, come back out today, and try to throw a gym. Up to the plate Leading steps D.J. LeMayhew. The third baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. The wind and the pitch. Yeah. In for a strike, and we're underway in Baltimore. First pitch, 105. In the air, right field. Santander puts it away for the out. And there's one away. The first base is Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Good power, not great in the OBP department. With Anthony Rizzo, you almost forget he was originally drafted by the Red Sox. He debuted with the Padres, won that championship with the Cubs, and now a Yankee. Yeah, and I think one of the telltale signs early with him in terms of the guy that would have that intestinal fortitude is just the fact that he beat cancer. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. Next offering misses down and away. No score just getting started top of the first. Next pitch is in the dirt and that's ball three. Twings and misses it's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And now big number 99 Aaron Judge turned on but foul wide of third the wide to kick the pitch and judge spoils that one there comes an 0-2 to judge stays alive Out to short. Mateo sends it to first. And the Yanks go quietly. Yeah. Back here in Baltimore, today's starting pitcher, Nestor Cortez Jr. And he comes in off a really nice season on the hill, Chris. An ERA in the low twos last year. So consistent, so dependable. Talk about a skipper who's got a guy like that that's going to go out there and not just keep him in the ball game, but really give them an opportunity to win a ball game, even if it's a low scoring day for the offense. That's who he was last season. And if he's even close to that this year, I think they'll be really happy with his performance. Out to short. Sends it across to first. Out on a bang bang play. Here's Adam Frazier. Adam Frazier. Cortez, an all star a season ago. He features a four seam fastball, a cutter, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a two seamer. Gets it to first. Frazier retired. Here's Adley Rutschman. In there, and it's 0-1. And a foul ball. The 0-2. On the ground to third. The throw to first. Inning over. 
One, two. Back here at the ballpark. Second inning, set to go. Leading off, Giancarlo Stanton. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And there's a ball. Singy, we think of John Carlos Stanton with the big time power as a baseball player, but he was actually recruited to play football at USC. And that one hammered. This one's got a chance. Into the bleachers and gone. John Carlos Stanton blasts one out to the opposite way. His seventh home run of the season. It's 1-0. incredible job of letting that breaking ball get deep trusting your hands and driving it out the other way that's how you practice it in the cage incredible when you can translate it into the ball game here is Glaber Torres that's hard hit on the line and there's a hit that is good. The center field. and now Bader up to the plate Four for eight in the series so far. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. On a second, they get one to first, not in time. Great effort there. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Bader around second, headed for third. Bader headed for the plate. He will score. It's 2 nothing. Comes through with the RBI. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. One down. Here's Jose Trevino. 0 for 6 in the series so far. And there's the strike. All ones the count. That's a base hit. Cabrera around third. He'll score, and they're up by three. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. And next for New York, Anthony Volpe. That ball hits the one, dirt. Right. Ball one. A little out front yeah, there as he swings right. through it. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Left field. It one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And that's a double. Back to back base hits. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Ripped on a line. That's down. One hops off the wall. Run comes in from second, and it's 4 0. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. So, man aboard, and here is Anthony Rizzo. His first at bat was a strikeout. Awkward swing there from the big left-handed hitter. Off balance as well. Hard ground ball base knock. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper the with the middle of the infield and down. took it back where it came there from. And there was just no Shut one there up. to knock it down. Judge in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Oh, 
Pollock, and it's one and one. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. This one popped up. Frazier grabs it on the run. Nine men come to the plate, four score. We go to the bottom. Back now at Oriole Park, here's Ryan Mountcastle. Cortez back to work. There's the strike. All one's the count. Ground ball, Rizzo picks it up. The flip to the pitcher covering. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Ramon Urias, the next to hit for the Orioles. First oh, offering and it just misses. Well, Ramon Urias, spectacular defender, won a gold glove in 2022 and oh. became the first Orioles third baseman to win a gold glove since, you know who, boo? Manny Machado. That's right, in 2015. Two, oh, Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And now it's Austin Hayes. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really oh, got man. in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big... Ah, oh, that ends the inning. So we take a break. Up three down for the Orioles. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Irvin back to work. Stan takes low, second trip to the plate in this one. So two balls and no strikes. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Reno. Here's a 3 0. And yeah, that's in for a strike. Thought the green light might be on right there, but maybe not. If you're looking to swing in that count, that's the pitch you want. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um. I think that if they gave the pitcher oh, a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. And the 1 0. -oh. And this is inside. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one carrying. And it is gone! Glaber Torres goes yard. Third home run of the season. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 6-0. Two oh count, a hitter is on high alert. This is what you live for to be in the driver's seat here. He got a pitch that he could handle, and he hit that pitch really hard. Nice home run. Brandon Hyde out of the dugout now, and he's ready to make a move to the bullpen. Cole Irvin will depart. And is he coming on for the Orioles? Kyle Bradish. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard. He almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. You know, these Yankees putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They jumped all over the starter and knocked him out of the game early. He just was never able to settle in, and the damage was done by the time he got the hook. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. I mean, when you're chasing the opposing starter in the first inning or two, that's just such a tone setter for the game. And it puts the other team back on their heels, and it instills a lot of confidence in your lineup from top to bottom. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Mullins settles under it and makes the grab. One down. So digging in, Oswaldo Cabrera. 
doubled his first time up. Hit on the ground to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Jose Trevino digs in now. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Hayes makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Two-run blast for the Yankees this inning. It's now a 6-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Welcome back. And now it's going to be Cedric Mullins. On the outside corner, and it's 0-1 clearly down in this ball game and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing it's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller pitch to pitch make that guy on the mound work to get you out and now the lefty keeps the at bat going with a foul ball sets him down looking Throws him with the heater at the knees. Anthony Santander at the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Santander measures six feet, two inches, 230 pounds, and he was born in Venezuela. Here comes a pitch. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one, one that finished with 500-plus home runs, 3,000-plus hits, and a triple crown. One down, base is empty. Liner caught it second. Batting done. Yep, as 25 years old, he's usually in the outfield, but today he's starting at third. That one rip, but foul. Yeah, to watch your lips. You better be ready. They don't call it the hot corner for nothing. And strike two. Oh, oh, strike. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Orioles held in check there. They still find themselves down. Six zip. Start of the fourth. And now Anthony Volpe. And a pitch. Swings and misses, and that's strike one. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play. And I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Santander pulls it down, and there's two gone. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. One for two. Bounced up the middle. Whips it to Mountcastle. Third out. One, two, three. Bottom four. Now it's going to be Jorge Mateo. They say it went. All ones the count. Next offering upstairs. 1 0. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Two strikes. And now two and two. Check swing on the two two. Appeal to first. No swing. Gary Simmons with the call. Three two. And that's a strikeout looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Now the number two hitter, Adam Frazier. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. The Orioles yet to pick up a hit here. That one pushed foul. Ball. Just off the inside corner. And yeah, the count one and two. The punch out there. Two gone now. 
Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Now this is in the air down the line. Cabrera under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that Back here in Baltimore. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Number 99. Yeah, the right hander back to work. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Chris, how about Aaron Judge's 2022? A silver slugger, an AL record, 62 home runs. He scored 133 runs, knocked in 131, and had nearly 400 total bases. Next offering in the dirt. Now two balls and a strike. Yeah, just incredible when you consider he's in the bright lights of New York City. And then when you're chasing Roger Maris's record, everyone paying attention. So much pressure on him, and he got it done. The judge finished off with the 2022 MVP. That's towards center. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Here's Stanton now. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Out towards left center. Mullins in pursuit. Snags it on the run. And there's two away. Now back. The second base. Here's Glaber Torres. He's already homered in this game. Liner. Base hit. And his hot hitting continues. Now, now, now. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Now, Harrison Bader. That one hammered center field way back there. Gone! Harrison Bader hits one out. His first homer of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 8 0. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there, too. He gave it a great effort, but. You know, those plays are so tough to pull off, and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. So up next, Oswaldo Cabrera. Misses outside, 1-0. Oh. Okay. Oh. And a foul ball left side. One one now on the ground to short Mateo sends it to first that's out number three another look at the long ball for the Yankees it's now an eight nothing game you're dialed into the show and welcome back bottom of the inning and now the first baseman Ryan Mountcastle yeah. there's a strike well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying no to be too fine strike. and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. And it's through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. And now the DH, Ramon Urias. Hey. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one, <laughs> something off speed, good arm action on it, whatever it was. At the belt and fires. Hey. Goes down looking. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. 
Hayes batting for the second time and that's strike one comes up empty on the swing 0 2 now and ball one hammer base hit lead runner touches second headed for third not in time he's safe good two strike hitting right there boog a bit of a lost start for some so that was nicely done to beat the odds everything was on time and fluid in that swing got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock those always feel good strike two outside two strike To first, maybe a two ball. Rizzo tossed the second, double play, and that'll do it for the inning. So no runs on two hits, no errors, and one man left. Five innings complete. It's the Yankees eight and the Orioles nothing. All set for the top of the sixth. Here's a big power threat. Jose Trevino. Radish back to work. Ball one there. Jose Trevino singing a gold glover and a guy that really does a great job presenting the ball. Yeah, breakout year in 2022. Led all catchers with 21 defensive runs saved. Oh. Frazier on the first in time. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Here's the shortstop at the play. Anthony Volpe. Nope. First offering misses the mark. And Boog, the Yankees had been looking for some stability behind the plate for a while, and Trevino stepped up in a big way. Pretty unexpected as well. And that one finds its way through. So the one-out hit turns the lineup over. Man, those are the types of hits where now you don't feel out. any Boog vibration in your hands DJ whatsoever. Yeah. Such a Levin. good feeling. That ball was drilled 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right oh, where you want to be with your swing mechanics. LeMay Hugh in the box with one away as he takes ball one. One for three. Runner, runner, Here's runner. the pitch. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. Throw. Save. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully move that runner up to scoring position. Good job. Mullins makes the grab. Runner tags up for third. The bat. Anthony the Rizzo base. stepping Anthony in now for the Yankees. Rizzo. Ground ball to the right side and foul ball. Rizzo in his 12th season, 33 years old, and he's a former Gold Glove Award winner. Next one is off the plate. One and one. Two outs with a runner at third. In the air out to center. Mullins puts the squeeze on that one and that will end the inning so no runs here on a base hit no errors and one left eight nine one scheduled in the bottom of the sixth it's the Yankees eight and the Orioles nothing back now at Oriole Park John Chambi with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth Anthony Santander on the ground right side Torres oh. fires over to first one away, bottom of the six. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Yepes in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Rizzo makes the grab. Two down. Jorge Mateo now. And first offering is fouled off. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that keeps the inning going. Adam Frazier, the next to hit for the Orioles. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. 
Strike two. Left hand batter waits. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And the Orioles. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the right fielder, Aaron Judge. First pitch, not close. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Danny Coulomb is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. Perez getting loose as well. Judge rips that one. Hayes hauls it in, and there's one away. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. Stanton, well, the next helps. to hit, takes ball one. In the air, left field, down the line. And that is a foul ball. Clearly, he was geared up for the fastball right there. Maybe got a little jumpy and excited out of the hand. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Torres in now. Takes ball one off the plate. And fouled off. The 1 1. This one lifted in the air, left field. And Glaber Torres retired. And that's the third. Welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. Center field. Bader makes the catch. One away. Ryan Mountcastle getting ready to hit. And that's in for a strike. Next one is off the play. And it's a ball and a strike. The pitch. Way out front for strike two. Caught him looking for the K. Well, he's been racking up the strikeouts, and what's so impressive, not walking anyone. I mean, this guy's just going right after hitters, filling up the strike zone, and it looks like hitters, they're trying. Well, plays made there, and that retires the side. One, two. Back here in Baltimore at the play. Harrison Bader. The pitch. Line drive. That's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan oh, oh, to be aggressive. Yeah, nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Bradish keeping an eye on him. Digging in, Oswaldo Cabrera. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Bader runs. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Ow! That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big-time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Two outs, space is empty. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Jose Trevino. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. The other way. Santander settles under it and makes the catch. Bottom of the eighth and into the box for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. And a strike, Cortez. Still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. Kicks and deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. 
Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. Mullins stands in now, looks at that one inside. And it's fouled away. That clips the corner. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting... Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Out of the warning track, and he hauls it in. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the yeah, Orioles, yeah, yeah, yeah. Felix Bautista. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Lifted in the air, right center field. Makes the grab, and there's two away. So two down now, and here is Anthony Rizzo. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh, late on that fastball this guy's pounding the zone hitters don't have time to think in between pitches here's the 0-2 swings and misses and he's down on strikes Back now at Oriole Park, bottom of the ninth, and now it's Juan Yepes. There's a strike. That pitch in for a strike. No balls, two strikes. And here it comes. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. So the batting order turns over, and next for the Orioles, Jorge Mateo. And that one fouled off. The pitch. That one misses. And the count is one and one. On the ground, Torres handles. Tosses to first. And the Orioles down to their final out. Adam Frazier, the next to hit for the Orioles. There's the strike. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. 8 nothing is how this one ends. And the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.